Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Timmy Banjo. If it's your first time here, welcome to this amazing and beautiful channel. I am Temi Banjo, I'm a YouTuber in Lagos, Nigeria, and today I am here with tips on how to lose weight in 2021. Yes, 2021. It's not that far away. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you keep watching this video. Alright, so if it's your first time here, please remember to hit the subscribe button because I do give banger content, I give fire content. So hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. And if it's not your first time here, you know how we do. We just give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment for me in the comment section because I like to chat with you guys and today I am here with tips on how to lose weight in the year 2021 I know 2020 was you know it took a toll on so many of us and so many things happened which I will not go into details into if losing weight in 2021 is your goal I am here to tell you tips on how to do that make sure you bring out a paper a pen and a sticker is this sticker like a marker yes a highlighter to highlight the things you are going to write down highlight the things I'm going to say to you so that you know that this is what you are going to abide by and you can follow them word for word i myself i like to write things down so make sure you bring that out and let's start some of these things i'm telling you are things that works for me and the first one will be determination you have to be determined to actually lose that weight because your mind and your body are connected together so whatever you think here goes on here like you that's how it works i don't know how to explain it but you have to be determined and once you're determined your mind is set and your body you know follows because your brain kind of controls a lot of things in your body so you have to be determined know what you're going to do how you're going to do it and that brings us to our next point which is discipline once you're determined discipline kicks in you are able to say no to the things that you normally eat and binge on things that wouldn't do your body good things that will not help you lose that weight you are able to say no to them so you must be disciplined in your diet in your fitness routine in your weight loss journey whatever it is weight loss for me is not a one-time thing it is a lifetime thing something that you want to cultivate throughout your lifetime something that is easy so you need to look for a balance where you can say okay yes i can do this and i will be disciplined i'll be able to keep myself in check because who is going to be checking on you except you have a fitness trainer or a nutritionist that's going to be checking on you but you are all by yourself and if you're in nigeria here you know things like that cost a lot of money things like that cost a lot of money so you have to be your own coach you have to be very disciplined you have to know what to take when to take it and you need to know when to stop eating also you need to start planning you need to plan ahead plan your meals plan the kind of um, nutrition you're going to be having plan the type of diet you're going to be having is it going to be omad is it going to be alternative day fasting is it going to be intermittent fasting is it going to be a keto diet is it going to be a low carb diet you need to plan you need to meal prep you need to make sure everything is in place failure to plan is planning to fail and planning to fail, whatever they say it is but planning is very key whenever i'm on a keto diet i make sure i plan my food ahead so that i do not binge on things i'm not meant to eat so i make sure like even the food i'm going to have in like three days time i make sure it is prepared somewhere in my head i might not have made it down but you know it's, it's done in my head already i know how i'm going to make that food and it's just for me to get up and fix it together something like that and also i try to make food in excess so once i don't know what to eat maybe my next meal i don't know what he's going to eat i'm going to have a repeat meal and a good thing is that i cook good meals <laughs> i'm not trying to brag but i make good meals so i don't mind having repeat meals so <laughs> the first one is always a banger so why not have it again okay so you need to plan ahead plan every step you will be taking in order to attain success i hope you are writing all these things down and like you are making out points of your own mm? Mm? okay also you need to buy your food you need to count your macros if you are going to be counting your macros you need to get a skill to you know weigh your food and see how many portions of carbs protein fat and vegetables you're going to be having all that goes into planning also you need to be tracking your success you need to you know keep track on your success to see if you're making progress it could be a skill it could be a dress or a, a pair of jeans you have 
put out and say this is what i'm going to be using to track my success and uh, maybe the first time you put it on like that's the most efficient way to know if you've lost to it especially your your waistline your tummy area that area when you put on the jeans you'll be feeling it you know feeling free and you know that something is going on already i mean it's a sign so you need to like bring out that pair of jeans you need to buy a scale and track your success if possible document it write it down know how long it took to lose what weight know what you ate know what you were taking know what you were doing so that along the line if something happens and you know you're not losing weight again you will know how to adjust you, will, you you'll be able to retract you'll be able to count your steps back and see what was happening if it was something you were taking that you were not meant to take so that is why it is equally important to track your success as it is to, like like as important as it is to eat good food it is also important to track your success okay so let me just say that i'm not saying you should do this that i'm about to say when you cheat don't be you know don't feel guilty mm? we've all been there when you cheat the first day you cheat just make sure you have a strategy for getting back in the track or in the race or in your journey so don't be like oh i cheated today and uh, my weight loss is already ruined i'm i'm going to gain weight so let me just continue eating rubbish mm -mm. no 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 even when i'm on keto i cheat and the only thing for me is that once i cheat i know i am getting back in track the following day what do i do i start by fasting before you know it i'm back in ketosis so once you cheat please don't use that as an excuse to continue eating junk food okay once you have a cheat day if it's if it's even normal for you to have a cheat day in your diet maybe you're not on a keto diet you're just on a normal low carb diet and you can have maybe some ice cream and some pizza here and there and you know you want to get back into your diet please don't say eh let me just take more and you know no please don't do that okay once you cheat make sure you get back on track don't feel guilty don't blame anybody for anything it is your fault enjoy the food you are eating the following day please get back on track which brings us to our last point which is once you see that you're not losing weight once you're tracking your success and you see that you're not losing weight please don't be discouraged do you know how many times i've tried to lose weight i kept on trying different types of weight loss patterns like if you know me you know that once something doesn't work for me i'm switching immediately i don't even like to waste time i'm switching to something else and if i say that oh i didn't actually do this properly okay I will try some i will try that same thing another way so don't be discouraged you're probably not doing it the right way that is why it's very important for you to track your success so if you're tracking your success you'll be able to you know get back and be looking at what is going on like oh this is what happened that is what happened you know you'll be able to sort it out so don't be discouraged when you see you're not losing weight probably you're having a low carb diet and you can you're kind of taking too much carbs you know and you're not working out and the carbs there is not digesting and turning into energy for you maybe you just have to reduce your carb intake if you're on a keto diet and you're having too much protein protein will will turn to carbs along the line so you need to reduce your protein intake that is why i emphasize on documenting your your journey documenting your success okay so it could be that you're having too much carbs even on a keto diet vegetables have carbs it could be that you're taking um fruits thinking that it is keto compliant meanwhile it is not so you need to document all these things so that you know where you went wrong so make sure you do all this and once you see that Oh, something went wrong somewhere consult you know google search there are so many ways you could search for things you could message me i will answer i like i like answering people who ask me about these things because they encourage me and say oh yes yeah, somebody is watching what i do like i'm really helping somebody so once you send me that message i'm like oh yeah yeah, yeah this that this that like somebody was eating wheat bread on keto diet she didn't even ask me but she kept tagging me in her food and i had to message her like darling 
wheat bread is not keto compliant and she was you know really really sad but she got back on track imagine if that was you and you're eating wheat bread thinking it's keto compliant and thinking oh in like two weeks i'm going to have my banging body you know <laughs> i had to reach out to her and tell her that it wasn't keto compliant so she had to stop that and you know get back into ketosis and i didn't even know how the whole journey went and there was this other person too who was doing intermittent fasting and she was asking me if she could eat fruit when she was fasting and i asked her is it when you are fasting or after you are fasting she said when she's fasting when you are fasting you don't eat anything see there's a video i'm going to leave here in the card you guys should watch that video and give that video 500 likes when that video has 500 likes i'm going to do a full detailed video about intermittent fasting okay so i think i'm just digressing a little from the point for today i think we've pretty much come to the end of this video let me know which tips tricks you are going to be using what you are going to be adding and let me know about your success yeah i love to see weight loss success please let me know how it goes i would love to see your documentation from before after all those things like you guys have seen my own let me know the steps you took if i can even emulate some okay so let me know about everything that is going on and leave me sweet comments in the comment section let me know that i'm helping somebody out there and you know i'm not alone if you are here for the first time and you made it up to this point and you haven't subscribed my darling it's not hard we are a family i know you like me and this is probably not the only video you are going to watch so just hit the subscribe button and join the family once and for all hit the subscribe button turn on your post notification give this video a thumbs up so that youtube will know that i am using their platform properly okay give this video a thumbs up <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and do not go i'd like you to stick around by watching my other videos that will appear here and here so please give this video a thumbs up and i would love to see you in the next one you're about to click you're about to click on so let's go